allow me to stand on the existing protocols already acknowledged. President of the General Assembly, Excellencies, distinguished delegates, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Tessin Dala. I am from Malawi. This morning, I'll be speaking to you on the notion that the youth can't, the future is now. I've worked with young women and men from diverse backgrounds. And one thing I have realized is that we share in our challenges. To this day, we're still finding our way through long-standing inequalities that have been birthed from discrimination, a lack of voice, financing, and support. To this day, so many young people fail to access education. And this is because of poverty, early marriages, sex preferences, among the many social factors. Our programs and interventions are not being funded because of a lack of recognition for their importance. Young women and girls are disproportionately affected by these challenges. Distinguished guests, this year, our CSW implores us on the quest to accelerate the achievement of gender equality and the empowerment of all women and girls. I urge each and every one of us to make a deliberate effort in supporting us young people, considering our diversities, protecting us against all forms of discrimination and harassment, because we want to be heard. In the last decade, you can agree with me that we have seen so many rising young stars talk of Malawi and Tanda Mandui, a digital survey, entrepreneur, um, gender activists, talk of Zimbabwean Barai Zokadivu, a gender and education activist, speak of Nigerian Temila De Salami, a climate justice activist. This only goes to show that we're willing to put in the work for the change that we want to see. And we would like you to partner with us. We want you to support us in our interventions. We do not want to be mere beneficiaries of all the policies and all the programs that you're bringing, but we want to work with you. As the world is being digitized by the day, we have so many emerging technologies. I urge you to invest in women and girls. Women and girls in engineering, in science, in math. We ladies and gentlemen, we want equity in, alloc in allocation of these resources, and we want equality in all these opportunities. Let us empower young women and girls. Let us be their allies and not opponents. Let us support them and not crusade them. As former, Barack, as former President Barack Obama said, empowering a woman isn't just the right thing to do. It is actually the smart thing to do. This morning, I'd like you to reflect on how you have been supporting the youth, especially the women and girls whether individually or in your work units. The reality on the ground is that we're barely being included in major decision-making processes. We're not in policy-making spaces and are rarely at the tables where important decisions to do with the economy, politics, or even the social, including the health system-related issues that affect us are made. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, let us join hands in advocating for inclusive legislations, policies, and programs to address these long-standing existing inequalities. We as young people are demanding that we're included in all areas of development at all levels because we are the future, and the future is now. With these few remarks, allow me to take my leave. Thank you, gracias. Asante sana, zikomo kwambili.